Good morning everybody, welcome back to the greenhouse. We haven't been in here in a long time. Um, I got a I got a little project to take care of today. It's um, this is 29th of May. It's my poor old father's birthday. He passed away about a year and a half ago. And uh, I still miss him. He was one of my biggest one of my biggest supporters. Everything I done. His sarcasm was really only matched by my own, and uh, I still miss him. But uh, we're in the greenhouse this morning anyway. My father would have been 78 today. And uh, we're going, uh, I took down half of my insulation in my ceiling, turn it around, turn it on camera. When I built this greenhouse, for the winter, I had this whole ceiling insulated because the sun would only come in. The sun was on such an angle that it only come in through this uh, angled front wall. Anyway, so the, the whole ceiling was insulated and it's that time of year now when all this can come down, we get some more light in here. And uh, once that comes down, maybe, uh, few days we got to put some vents in or there's still no vents in this greenhouse for uh, to allow the superheated air to escape so we're going to uh, today we're going to take down the ceiling insulation and this uh, this wall here faces east so we're going to take that down too and let some uh, hopefully let some early morning sun in uh, this wall has a bit of insulation, it's the west wall. I'm going to leave the insulation and that because that will provide some uh, mid-afternoon shade. And I might even leave this single piece, I'm not sure. I might even leave this single piece of uh, insulation in place too. And that will provide some uh, afternoon shade as well. So we're ready, uh, we're almost ready. Get my, get my zing zing. You know, you always gotta give this trigger a couple of little before you're ready to go. That's just, that's just a part of how it's done. When you grab a power tool, you gotta give her a little zing zing. Anyway, we're ready to take down that insulation now. I'm gonna label it. Just so I know, it's, uh, cause it's always going to have to go back up in the file. Um, so I'm going to label it east wall top. And I'm going to leave the bottom piece in place for now. Yeah, I am. So we're just going to label it east wall top. So EWT. E. W. Hey, out, get out. So we got uh, four screws securing that in place. Actually two, because I'm going to leave the bottom ones under. I'm going to climb up all over my plants now. Whoop. I lost my balance. I wouldn't say there's either spider in behind this now. Ah. Them big black ugly spiders. I'm frightened to death of them. I don't like them. I don't think anybody likes spiders. What they're part of the... They're part of how the world goes around, I suppose, isn't it? I don't know. I don't like them. I killed them. You can call me a spider murderer. I really don't care. I'm okay with that. What a rotten day this turned out to be. I'm afraid to look. Any spiders on it? No. Clean as a whistle. Yeah, that gets in a bit of a nice bit of light. Might put a shelf across there now. Yes, sir. Maybe I'll take that off too. 
What the hey? East wall bottom. Oops. B for bottom, not D. D is in dummy. Yeah, let's take that off too, frigate. What the hell? Let that two by four dry out. We don't want all rotten within the first year, do we? No, we don't. Now there's where there might be spiders. I see the web already. I'm doing like it. I do not like it. Same I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. The trees are going to like this light. Aren't they? Aren't you little boys? Yes, you were. This <clears throat> wild bottom. Oh, I'm breaking. Yeah. He's all opened up. Bright light, bright light. <sighs> yeah. Lay that outside there. Careful. Watch out. Look out below. Uh, she's open right up. Really, well, if the sun was out now, oh, buddy, oh, boy. We're, this is what we call a maintenance. We're doing some maintenance in the greenhouse. It's neglected the last little while. Oh, wrong way. Not bad. Screws loose. I got a couple of screws loose. Careful. Yeah. There. There's that. Yeah, he comes down. Oh, listen, it's raining. We loves in the greenhouse. He loves in the greenhouse listening to the rain. Oh, pouring. Pouring out of the heavens there now. Okay, that was a nice little interlude. Rain is still coming down, it's nice. Good for my potatoes in the big garden and uh, good for the carrots I set there uh, eight, eight or nine days ago. And uh, let's, uh, let's take all this down, see if it brightens up any in here. There's a mousy old day again. Yeah. Wow, really brightens her up. Oh, the grapes are going to love it. Huh? The grapes are going to love it. Oops, sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. Oh, I should have labelled that too. All right, we're going to leave that last one up there for a bit of that uh, afternoon shade when it gets really hot in here. Oh, the plants are loving it already. So we got the insulation taken down. We got one little piece left up there for a bit of shade. Uh, I got some shade cloth bought too. I'm going to put that up uh, if that don't seem to be enough. But right now, on this east wall, we're going to put up a little shelf. Um, I'll go over to my... Uh, I'm going to go over to my scrap pile now, find a piece of uh, 2 by 12 about uh, 1, 2, 3, maybe 4 or 5 feet long. And we're going to hang up a shelf. I can get rid of some of this. Uh, I'll make some room in here. This is a little bit overcrowded. i got tomatoes everywhere. We're going to make some room. As i got a... Uh, yeah. 
I got a lot of tomatoes. And I want to put in cantaloupes. I don't have any cantaloupes started yet. I should have been. My cantaloupe that I had in here died. They died. They passed on. Uh, so I'm going to start some new cantaloupes. And I need that bed over there. I'm going to move some tomato plants out of it. So here we go. i got to go over to the scrap pile now and find a little piece of uh, 2x12 around the right lane. Probably get a measuring tape too. Wouldn't hurt. Hey, bye. There we go. we got a piece of 2x12 out of it. All uh, concrete footing forms. <laughs> it's alright. It worked too. Like I said, I'm after saying this before. It don't have to be pretty. It just got to work. And that's it. Not pretty. It's like me. Yeah, we found a few screws. We've got a couple of brackets. We've got our 2x12. We've got a measuring tape. We've got a pencil. We got the technology. Now, how far do we want our shelf? 79 centimeters. Metric here in Canada, you know. Now, put this in on that mark and we're good. We are golden. We got our brackets in place. And I just, uh, I just leveled up from that uh, sill plate down there. That's perfectly level. I know because I put it in myself with a laser level. I just lined up the bottom hole to the same measurement as this bottom hole. And that's good enough. That is a heavy waterlogged piece of wood. Look at that, bye. Eee, you wouldn't know about a gruder. It not seem like they're very strong. I put 30 or 40 pound of pots up there. I don't know, I guess we'll see. Just a few jip rock screws hold the shelf in place. Hopefully she's strong enough. Now you strong enough to be my shelf. Here we go, one shelf, custom built, Faggy Lane Garden. Now we got to build another long one. All the way along here. Gonna do something with this grapevine. Gonna train him over that way or something. Oh my, what a fine mess you've gotten us into. Putting the shelf up here along this beam, I got four of those brackets. I'm gonna put another one there. But first, I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with this, with this grapevine. This, is, uh, this should have been done a long time ago before that grapevine got, got the gumption to start giving me grapes. Whatever about anything else. I don't want to damage my grapevine. So I've got to try to move all that now and train it to go over that way somehow or other. When I planted that grapevine, I just stuck it in the ground here. And I just tied all the shoots together. There wasn't a thing on it. And uh, now, yeah, I got a bit of a conundrum on my hands. I'm going to try to untangle all this. This is going to be, this is going to be disastrous. I know that. I'm probably not going to film the whole thing because this could take a while. What am I going to do? I'm getting through it. I don't know how my grapevine feels about it, but oh my, that is tangly. <coughs> tangly is the trial. I'm going to train all that over that way now and get my shelf in and I'll work it around the shelf. It's never a bit tangly at all. Just like a bucket of trial. Okay, we're getting through this grapevine. Uh, I got them tied up. It's a lot more tidy. I got one big one big main vine to go with her now. I think that'll do her. No, I got a, I got a couple. I'm gonna wrap him up around that shelf. See, maybe all right there. I think he will. If not, we'll move him again. That's all. This one is 
laden down with grapes. Laden. Fella. You gotta go somewhere too. Oh. Oh. Reach? Yes. I don't know. How about that? <sighs> that work for us? Tomato is not going to like it up there. He's all bowed over. It's getting warm in here now. Time to get out of here. But uh, I want to show you. I got a. I got that bed cleaned out for the most part. I got one last thing to do now. I want to plant some cantaloupe seeds because I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, and it only takes five seconds. I don't know what's wrong with me. So I got him cleaned out. Got a bit of room there. And uh, I got a couple up there on that shelf. A couple of plants. And I got a couple here on this shelf. I got a couple there, a couple of tomatoes on that shelf. So I got a little bit room, more room there yet. My grapes are hanging out pretty good. I think they'll be happy there. Got them trained everywhere, look. He goes along that way, and he goes along up that way, and he goes along up that way. So hopefully they'll be happy. I got a nice, uh, nice tomato coming on this uh, subarctic. So, uh, yeah, still don't know what I'm going to do with all these, I'm going to chop them down I think, one of them is dead, this guy, this guy don't, uh, this guy's getting too hot or something, anyway, tied up this jungle of mess too, there's some tomatoes in among all that. Yeah, this guy's dead, pretty much. Too hot for him, I'd say. He just shriveled right up, la. Anyway, that's gonna do it for me for today. Getting way too warm in here now. <sighs> yeah. So well, there we are. A little bit of maintenance in the greenhouse. Makes a world of difference. Tidied up a bit. And uh, next thing, I got to install some vents in this. You want to see a video about that? Me too. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're having a great day. Hope your garden flourishes. And uh, thanks for putting up with me again. Remember to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time I look at you.